Welcome to the Fifth Dimensional Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra uh, on March 19, uh, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. Um, so nice to see so many of you, uh, my beloveds. Um, and those of you who are with me for the first time uh, on our system, Zoom, I know that I have to mute everybody uh, because devices make funny noises and it creates disturbance. So if you have a question, you can write on the chat box or you can wave at me and I will unmute you and you can talk to me directly. Um, those of you who are on Facebook or Instagram, um, Things move on too fast, too quickly. I'm not really able to respond to your questions. If you really want to communicate with me, you need to come on my website, zaratustra.tv, sign up through the academy, and I'll be more than happy to talk to you and answer your questions. Um, okay, so it's nice to see some of you that we just come back from our retreat in Sedona, Arizona. We had uh, nine magical days uh, and it was really a very very special time very transforming um, we went to very deep spaces together um, we went to very powerful vortexes and sites we did uh, a number of different ceremonies um, with uh, either at the vortexes or also we did a very powerful sweat lodge uh, with a gentleman named Rogelio. We had a sound vibrational therapy, a shamanic sound vibrational therapy with a wonderful woman, uh, Valerie Irons, as well as we ended our ceremony by doing a medicine wheel walk and visiting the stupa, which is a uh, Buddhist uh, structure right in the heart of Sedona in the Red Lands. So it, it was a very, very powerful and beautiful time, especially being on the land and going to all these different uh, power spots. And we're all bonded with each other and, and uh, hopefully this brotherhood, sisterhood that we've developed with each other will last a lifetime. So. I'm so happy to have you in my life. I um, feel very grateful that I was able to share this very, very special time with you. And, uh, and we were able to go to this place together and have this experience um, simultaneously and be able to reflect back on this for the rest of our lives. So it was definitely uh, God's gift it was a very, very magical time, and um, hopefully there will be more. Um, one of our participants asked me if I would talk about uh, non-attachment to the results. And, uh, well, let me explain to you what I was basically talking about in previous times, for those of you who are new and are listening to me for the first time, what are we talking about? Is basically what I've discovered is that if I'm able and capable and train myself and bring myself into a level of understanding, and which this level of understanding basically comes through a few different steps. One of it, one of it, uh, and I'll tell you what the goal is and what the question is. And then I'll share with you how you can develop yourself to come to this place. And what happens is when we are very much invested into some kind of results, whatever we do, whatever is happening in our lives, um, whether it's an investment, like if you're investing financially into buying a property, um, buying jewelry, whatever, gold, 
something or a business and you have invested into it and obviously you want positive results because you want this to to uh be fruitful and you can you can harbor from your investment and that's one aspect the other one is that if you're invested emotionally in in whatever that you put time and energy into a partner and i'm using this couple examples there are simple examples for all of us to understand. I mean, this, what I'm talking about, it relates to pretty much every aspect of our lives. And um, it's not just limited to one thing. So basically, let's say if I'm investing into a relationship with someone and I'm hoping that I get what I want out of it, you know, whatever that is. You know, let's say I'm investing in this relationship with this woman and I want to marry her. I hope, her, I hope she says yes to marriage. And, uh, or I'm investing into a piece of property and land or whatever that I'm hoping in five years or 10 years, I can double my investment and make money out of. Now, I'm really attached emotionally, mentally to the results of my investment because I'm hoping my investment is going to be fruitful and I'm going to get what I want. So I'm really attached to it, to the results of it. And then things don't go my way. Either I lose, uh, real estate market crashes and i lose money in it or a person that i want to marry and and uh, after spending so much time and energy and investing into this relationship she says she's not interested in marrying me and and uh and i don't get what i want so typically when we're not trained what happens is we deeply suffer because we're so attached to the results. We want results to be in a certain way, to be the way we want it. So now I don't get what I want and I'm very, very disappointed and I'm suffering because of my attachment to the results because it has to go in this way. It must happen the way I want it. And if it doesn't happen the way I want it, then I'm miserable. And uh, life ends right there, for example, in my mind. So now, if you pay attention, you're going to be noticing that you have the similar experience on a daily basis. Uh, some events are more significant, but you can just see like throughout the day, existence provides situations and opportunities that you really feel there is an attachment uh, to certain results and things don't go your way and you get disappointed <clears throat> you can pay attention and you will see it now how you get over this and retrain yourself so you don't go through this process of suffering is that you, you change your point of view. It's the shift in how you are seeing things. And it's all happening from with, within yourself. If I am change my perspective, for example, I look at whatever happens in my life, whether they go my way or they don't go my way. And I look at it this way, that existence, the spirit, God, the universal forces, whatever you would like to call it, the intelligence that runs the universe, 